All right, thank you so much. Today we're going to talk about optimizing performance and reducing cost in AWS using Grandly's real-time continuous optimization solution. Our agenda today is to speak about what is the concept of real-time continuous optimization, which is a new concept in the maturity model of, of reducing costs, how Grandly works in specifics, um, our open source tools, the G profiler, and then so sh show some use cases in a, in a demo. So before we dive in, Let's talk about the logic or, or the core premise behind real-time continuous optimization and granulate. And the core premise is that operating systems and runtime managers were designed as general purpose solutions, and they were designed for a user behind the keyboard. Therefore, they optimize resource management to achieve interactivity and fairness, while production infrastructure is absolutely different. It does repetitive tasks uh, at high performance and scale, and we can stand to leverage those repetitiveness and this uh, production workloads to reduce costs. So what Grandly does is essentially optimize resource management at the kernel and at the runtime level to be more application driven, to improve performance, and through those performance improvements to reduce your workload costs. The numbers that you can see here are numbers that we've achieved with some of our customers, but the most important number is the zero code changes. So the entire process is fully plug and play and seamless, doesn't require any R&D efforts. So before we dive in, let's try to exemplify with a vivid example what do we mean by this interactive and fair resource management. And just for the sake of the example, let's imagine we're looking at a Netflix workload, and without the loss of generality, it's a request-respond-based workload of a user's login request. And once the user's login request arrives for front-end service, service A, the front-end service generates simultaneous requests towards back-end services in order to answer this specific request. So again, with, a lot, with an Netflix example, it queries service X to find the what's trending for the user, queries service Y to authenticate the user, and service Z to find the recommendation of the specific day. And of course, not all of those back-end services answer at the same time. Some of the, users, some of the answers are cached, some of them require access to third-party or databases, and at this point of time, service 6 and service Y had answered service A, and service Z did not yet answer. If we focus on service A specifically, it's clear that service A cannot yet answer this specific user's request, because there's a still dependency waiting in service Z. But if we focus on service A, service A needs to allocate resources between two types of tasks. Either it's processing incoming user's requests, and it is dealing with tens to hundreds of users' requests at the same time, or it allocates resources, such as CPU time, to process the incoming answers from X and Y. And even though those answers are ready and are waiting to be processed on service A sockets and file descriptors, it is clearly not the best decision to make here. There's a strictly better decision to make in terms of performance, which is to process incoming users' requests, reduce the response time, increase the server's throughput, and only when the dependency has been resolved, only then process the answers uh, from the backend services in a batch. However, if we focus on service A, the operating systems, the runtime managers, are not aware of it. They are optimizing resource management to achieve interactivity and fairness in an application-oblivious way. And these problems happening hundreds of times per second is really affecting the performance and therefore affecting the cost. And this is exactly what Grandlate solves. So in essence, Grandlate is an agent-based solution. You deploy the agent on a VM or all of the VMs within the workload, and the agent learns the, the application data flow and resource usage patterns. What it does is exactly CPU sample the workload uh, and create a profile of the workload and correlate it with a utility function. And then after enough learning time has passed, the agents are able to differentiate between patterns which are correlated with better performance in terms of the utility function, and patterns which are correlated with worse performance. And then they are ready to be activated by the user. Once they are activated, they start making real-time decisions in terms of scheduling a prioritization over the main contended resources to drive better performance. And then immediately after the activation, and we will see it in the demo in a couple of minutes, the user starts experiencing improved performance reduce response time, increase throughput, lower CPU utilization, and then in cloud environments, specifically elastic environments like in AWS, it's automatically translated into cost reduction 
because those workloads are already managed and auto-scaled based on those same performance metrics. Uh, and if we dive a bit more inside, the agent is comprised of two different modules. And it optimizes based on those modules as a kernel space and as a runtime space. The kernel modules essentially hook into the kernel management of the main contended resources, CPU scheduling, I.O. scheduling, network read and writes, and et cetera, and optimize uh, the resource allocation between different threads belonging to the same process to be more application driven. The runtime module does same, same optimization, same scheduling uh, modification at the runtime level because some of the runtime managers mask some of the resource management from the kernel, such as thread management by the JVM or, me or memory management by the JVM. So both modules provide a full visibility and full control for optimization for the entire uh, workload. Uh, and summing it up, let me just uh, clarify a couple of points. Basically, it supports all compute workloads, and the installation is super simple. But I think the most compelling part here is that essentially the agents optimize a new place across the stack that no one is optimizing today, which makes it fully additive and fully agnostic to other cost optimization solutions that the customer might have deployed. So it's fully additive to spot reserved saving plans, but even to resource management or orchestration solution, such as Turbonomics and Densify and et cetera. And it's all of it within a week and without any code changes. So this is a, a visibility to the use case map that Granlate supports. Granlate is not a magic solution. It supports compute-based workloads. And it has to leverage repetitiveness patterns within those workloads to optimize according to. Um, and the framework and the runtime matters a lot because there's a runtime specific optimization. So those numbers on the x axis represent the learning time that takes the agent to establish the model before the customer sees the first benefit. And the y axis represents the empirical value that our customers are experiencing based on those workload and use case. And up to the left and right, we can see all the JVM based workloads which usually get very significant benefits, usually between 35 to 60% of cost reduction. And very close to it, those are the Python and Go-based workloads with a bit longer time, but very high value as well. Big data workloads, such as EMR-based, Spark, Hadoop, and et cetera, leverage significant benefit and very fast. Most of the Apache framework is, is JVM-based. So we, we've presented the general framework of, of the product. But let's dive deep inside into a lab demo that show exactly how it works. So the first stage of Granlate is a G-Profiler. The G-Profiler is an open source tool that Granlate has provided to the community. The G-Profiler provides visibility to the learning mechanism of the agent. And what it does is cluster-wide CPU profiling of the workload in the cluster to identify which part of code executed takes the most CPU resources. What we have here is a Kubernetes EKS workload, a lot of different runtime. And the y-axis, or the stacks, represents the call stack that runs in production being executed, and the amount of resources that each line executed took across a long time and aggregated across the entire cluster. And it supports all runtime and both the kernel context. A customer that uses a G profiler also get automatic analysis of the benefit that deploying Grunlate optimization product on it and can start a self-service based conversion funnel to enjoy the benefit of the optimization product. And if we focus on the optimization product itself, uh, this is a live demo that shows exactly how it looks like. What we have here is five instances running an EC2 region in AWS communicating each of them with 10 other instances in a different region. And all in all, those instances look very similar to each other. So in terms of throughput, all of them are operating in pretty much the same amount of requests per second. Latency is pretty similar across the instances as well. And CPU utilization is averaging at around 60%. And what I can do is log into those instances and activate Granlate on them. Uh, and just for the sake of, of the demo, I've logged into the instances before. We have here instances that end with 145, its IP address, which means it's 
that line over here is a yellow line. Um, and I can activate Grundlet on that instance because this is a workload of one of our customers that has a pre-learned model that can be directly activated. Bear in mind that in a production workload, it requires a couple of days of learning. And then what a customer can do is activate the agent. Uh, we can do it through the UI. I just want to show you the logic behind it. And once you activate the agent, essentially, the agent loads the kernel module into the kernel. Uh, and from that point on, the kernel module loads the appropriate models automatically. And once I've activated the agent, what we will see is that the agent starts optimizing performance immediately. So we can see that the yellow line representing the latency metric in the customer's Grafana is dropped quite significantly, quite fast. Um, and once the AWS load balancer stabilizes, we can see that P50 latency, the median latency, has been reduced by almost 30% without any code changes. Uh, this is true also for the tail latency, the P90 latency, which is dropped uh, by around 20, 25%. So not only the instance is now handling the request a lot faster, because it is handling the request a lot faster, and we have here a least connection-based load balancer, it's now getting a lot more requests. So the instance is handling around 25% more throughput while handling the request a lot faster. And it is doing so with pretty much the same CPU utilization rate or even 5% less CPU utilization. Now, what I can do is I can activate the agent across the entire workload through a Grandlet UI. Uh, and then you would see a compounding effect uh, between the agent that basically all of them are starting to optimize as fast, and CPU utilization drops quite significantly. So I've now activated the agents across the entire workload. So all of the agents are now being activated. Um, and within a second, the AWS load balancer will start stabilizing. And we can see that latency dropped even, even further. So now we are at 40% reduction in latency across the entire workload. CPU utilization has been dropped significantly because now all of the instances are operating just as fast and are handling the same amount of requests per second. And CPU utilization has been dropped by over 25%. Now, do bear in mind that this is a static environment without autoscaling, but in a customer's premise, in an autoscaled environment, this directly means more than 25% reduction with better performance, without any code changes, without any effort, within a week. So just to wrap it up, a customer can start with our open source product, the G-Profiler, deploy it on his workload, start optimizing performance and cost by himself, and self-convert into the premium product, which is ROI positive and provides performance optimization leading to cost reduction without any code changes that usually uh, 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 provides a cost reduction within less than a week. And our customers are leveraging it across any compute workload in any cloud environment from EKS, EC2 to EMR, um, and even Fargate. And it's essentially, uh, it works like a magic to those, to those customers without any code changes. Um, and usually our customers benefit both from the performance improvement and the cost reduction, finding uh, a, a good solution across the way. Our empirical cost reduction averaging across our customers is over 30%. We're managing over two, 2 million cores uh, at any point of time, supporting cost reduction for our customers of over $30 million cost reduced every month across all the verticals from advertising and marketing, gaming, uh, enterprise software, um, and, and retail and, and delivery. So if you want to try the G-Profiler, you can check it out at profiler.grandly.io. If you want to check the product, you can start a self-service funnel and get introduced to the product or schedule a demo with any of our team. Um, I'll be available to questions over here if you're interested. And we'll also be available in our booth um, over there in front of the Capital One booth. Thank you so much.